appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. Know yourself and you will win all battles. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Engage people with what they expect, it is what they are able to discern and confirms their projections. It settles them into predictable patterns of response, occupying their minds while you wait for the extraordinary moment. The art of war teaches us to rely not on the likelihood of the enemy's not coming, but on our own readiness to receive him, not on the chance of his not attacking, but rather on the fact that we have made our position unassailable. To fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence, supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. A wise ruler puts the welfare of the people as his highest priority. He will win who knows when to fight and when not to fight. To secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The wise warrior avoids the battle and wins the war. All warfare is based on deception. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. The greatest warriors win without shedding a drop of blood. The wise warrior cultivates the qualities of patience, discipline, and flexibility. To win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. Do not repeat the tactics which have gained you one victory, but let your methods be regulated by the infinite variety of circumstances. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Speed is the essence of war. Take advantage of the enemy's unpreparedness, travel by unexpected routes and strike him where he has taken no precautions. The best victory is when the opponent surrenders of its own accord before there are any actual hostilities. Do not depend on the enemy not coming, depend rather on being ready for him. The skillful leader subdues the enemy's troops without any fighting, he captures their cities without laying siege to them, he overthrows their kingdom without lengthy operations in the field. If ignorant both of your enemy and yourself, you are certain to be in peril. When strong, avoid them. If of high morale, depress them. Seem humble to fill them with conceit. If at ease, exhaust them. If united, separate them. Attack their weaknesses. Emerge to their surprise. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious. A leader leads by example, not by force. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. Plan for what is difficult while it is easy, do what is great while it is small. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. The general who wins a battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. 
one may know how to conquer without being able to do it. A victorious army first wins and then seeks battle, a defeated army first battles and then seeks victory. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. To win without fighting is best. He will win who knows how to handle both superior and inferior forces. Opportunities are multiplied as they are seized. The quality of decision is like the well-timed swoop of a falcon which enables it to strike and destroy its victim. Do not engage an enemy more powerful than you. And if it is unavoidable and you do have to engage, then make sure you engage it on your terms, not on your enemy's terms. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. Pretend inferiority and encourage his arrogance. To fight and conquer in all your battles is not supreme excellence, supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a eh? road either to safety or to ruin.